Hi, pre-ballet students. Welcome to week four. All right, so we've been learning a lot of ballet terminology. We're gonna continue to do that this week, as well as learn some strengthening exercises that'll be fun to do with your whole family. All right, so um, what we're gonna do today, Mrs. V, you can go back and watch um, the video of the new dance steps we've been adding on. We're gonna kind of do a little bit of a review and work on our steps with counts today. All right, it's important to anticipate. Does anybody know what the word anticipate means? Hmm, think about that big word. Anticipate means to think ahead about what comes next, all right? So we wanna anticipate our dance steps that are in our dance so that from one step we know what comes next, all right? It's a part of memorizing our dance, all right? Um, in January we worked on counting a lot and so we're gonna put those counts to use in our dance right now, all right? So everybody please start with your feet in first position, arms a little bit. This is after we have run on. I'm going to face you. So here are the counts. We start with our right leg and we tondu. The counts are tondu. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, close, eight. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Then we relevé. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Five, six, turn, seven, eight. Good. All right, let's try that again. Can you count out loud with me this time? Just so you get that feeling in your body, okay? Here we go. And then I want you to try to pause this after this time and see if you can do it on your own. All right, and your moms and your dads will watch you see how you're doing. Ready? Five, everybody first position, arms in low fifth. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, open three, four, up five, six, seven, close eight. Other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, close eight. One, two, Three, four, turn five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right? So that's your phrase this week to work on with counts. All right? So happy practicing. Your goal is to do it with Mrs. V and to pause it and see if you can do it by, by yourself. Maybe have someone film you and then watch it side by side. This is V's video to see if your counts are right, okay? You got this, friends. Good job. Hi, friends. Welcome to week four. We've been working on some of our ballet terminology over the last couple of weeks. Let's just review what we learned last week, okay? We're starting to work on learning what the French phrases are for different directions that we use in dance. So, last week, we learned the phrase a la seconde, which means to the side. So if I tendu a la seconde, I would be doing a tendu to the side, okay? We also learned the word derriere. Does anybody remember what derriere is? Can you say it before I say it? All right, yes, to the back. So if I was to do a degage, remember degage is a brush off the floor? Derriere, degage. Degage, right? Okay, so our next two phrases we're going to learn this week is the word en face. En face just means face the front or facing the front. And the word devant, which means to the front. We're doing a motion to the front. So, am I facing en face right now? No. What if I face you? Yes, I am facing en face. So, en face. So, your dance teacher says, everybody face on front, whatever the front of the room is. Now, if I say, tendu devant, and let's see, maybe I want to hold my arms in first position, and I want to tendu devant, I would be taunt, doing a tendu to the front, okay? So I'm facing on face, and I'm doing a tendu devant. Yes, great. Okay, so your two new words this week are on face and devant. 
okay? You're gonna be learning all of these new phrases. I hope to type these out for you as well so you have a nice worksheet that you can look at at home and just keep practicing because getting that terminology as um, into your, your dance routine is really gonna help you as you continue to progress and move forward in your dancing. I'm so very proud of you students. Our next clip is gonna be some strengthening exercises for the week. All right, here is a great strengthening exercise to work on this week at home. What I want you to do is find four different items. It could be, Mrs. V has four different little friends. I have a, you know, Winnie the Pooh and a kangaroo and a lion, okay? And then what I want you to do is I want you to spread your four friends out on the ground, okay? especially as we're learning um, our skips for some of you younger ones, but also to just get strength in our, our muscles, okay? So what you're gonna do, this is going to, you wanna put them in a line. We're gonna go past our friends, okay? Not over them this time. We're gonna go past our friends, all right? So I want you to start standing on one leg. Let's see here. That's one strengthening activity for the week. And I have another fun one that we're gonna learn as well. Hi students, here's another fun um, foot strengthening exercise that you can do at home. What I want you to do is find um, about six or seven small um, pieces of something, okay, that you can work with your feet to pick up. What this helps is you're articulating the muscles in your toes and your new foot to try to make your feet your hands, okay? We work our feet so much and we want to get our feet to get really, really strong as dancers. So, um, and I want you to find a cup too. So this is you guys, I decided to do marbles. Of course, if you have littles, um, marbles is probably not a good idea, right? So maybe like something else like Legos um, or like bigger Legos or something, so find something. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your foot and you're gonna pick that, that marble up probably get tired. Tired is an okay thing because that means that you're strengthening those muscles in your foot. Okay? Happy strengthening at home, my friends. Thanks so much. Have a great week.